Hello friends and welcome back to Swift Lessons for another By Request Song tutorial. In today's session I'm going to be finishing up my series breaking down the Beatles 1969 classic Something. Now in video number one I taught you how to play George's iconic guitar solo. You can access that video by clicking the card right up here in the top corner. Now in today's session I'm going to be showing you how to play the simple chord progressions and strumming patterns for the intro, verse, and chorus sections and those cool little lead lines that you hear throughout. You can follow along, use my tab and chord sheet at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. Now let's get started with the full demonstration of the tune. You're gonna see me strumming on this fur GC LC acoustic guitar. Friends, if you're in the market for a high-end acoustic, look no further. This thing is an absolute masterpiece. I'll put a link down in the description. And for the lead lines, you're gonna see me using the Spark Amplifier by Positive Grid when paired with your smartphone. This thing houses thousands and thousands of customizable tones. Let's get started. One, two, Three and four. Something in the way she moves attracts me like no other lover. Something in the way she woos me. I don't want to leave her now. You know I believe in how Somewhere in a smile She knows That I don't need no other lover Something in a style that shows me and I don't want to leave it now You know I believe in how You're asking me will my love grow I don't know I don't know You stick around and it may show I don't know I don't know Okay, a close look at the fretboard, getting started with our intro section. We're in standard tuning, the key of C major. Getting started with the rhythm first, it's gonna look and sound like this. A one, two, three, and four, and. Okay, so pretty simple. We have the chord F major, which we can play as a bar chord shape. Bar in the first fret with our thumb nice and low so the index finger straightens, grabbing the third fret A, third fret D, and the second fret G string. Again, that thumb is low, I'm pulling back with both arms, maybe even pressing my chest into the guitar for a little extra pressure. Okay, there we can strum, down, 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 up. Okay, so one more time, one and two and up. Now, as I'm completing that strumming pattern, I might already start moving over to the next chord, which is gonna be another bar. It's gonna be an E flat major. 
Okay, so I've got my index finger on the sixth fret of the A string, that's E flat, and my ring finger is barred across the D string, G string, and the B string. Okay, there I'm just gonna strum down. Okay, tip of my index finger is blocking the low E string, my high E string is blocked as well. So far you have down, 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 up, down. All right, then move to a garden variety G major chord, a down stroke there before going to C major and starting your verse. Now, a couple of quick cheats here. You don't have to play the full bar chord version of the F chord at any point in this song. If you like, you can just take the bar and just limit it to the B string and high E string. Okay, strum from the A string down. Okay, I've always referred to this as kind of the Hendrix version of this chord. Okay, so I can play down, 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 up, and then switch to that E flat major. If this bar chord is tricky for you, maybe you're a beginner, you can always take a D major chord and bring it up a half step to the key of E flat. All right, it's the same chord. Just strum from the G string down. Okay, so down, 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 up, down. Then the G chord, and then to the C major chord. Something in the way to start the verse. Okay, but the full version should be like this. Okay, and over top of that rhythm, we're gonna hear this really beautiful lick. Okay, let's get that lead line down. I'm on the 10th fret of the B string. Then going up to 12, I'm gonna bend it up a half step first and then let it descend down to the B note. All right, then back to 10. And then we're gonna walk chromatically up to the 13th fret of the B string, which by no coincidence is a C note. It's gonna match that C major chord as we come into the verse section. Okay, so the rhythm. And over top of that, George is playing. Okay, keeping that vibrato going as you play through that lick. Okay, very well done everybody. You have that intro section down. Now you're ready to jump into the verse section, which is chock full of essential chords and also strumming techniques. So I'm gonna get started sharing with you first the chord progression, then I'll break down my suggestions for strumming, which you can customize to your liking. Okay, so this verse is gonna start off with one measure of C major. Okay, so one and two and three and four. All right, then remove the index finger for C major seven. One and two, three and four and. All right, then a third variety of the C chord, C dominant seven. Add in the pinky to the third fret of the G string, putting that index finger back on the B string first fret. One, two and three and four and. You put those three chords together and we have something in the way she moves. C dominant seven attracts me like no other. All right, then we're gonna go to the four chord in the key of C major, which is F major. Okay, here I'm gonna use that Hendrix version of the chord, and I'm gonna see if I can wrap my thumb around to the bass note, the first fret of the low E string, F. Because here I'm gonna play. A very noticeable walk down. Okay, before going to a D major chord, to a D dominant seven, and then to the G major chord. To finish kind of the A section of this verse. So you put all those chords together and we've got C major. Something in the way she C major seven. Then the dominant seven attracts me like no other F major. All right, and then walk. The D major chord, to a D7, and then to a G major chord. All right, now let's add a little bit of strumming technique to what we have so far. Over the C chord I can play, down, 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 up, bass, bass, down, down, up. Then over the C major seven, something like down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. All right, and this is all in my tab. 
then the C dominant seven back to that first strumming pattern. Down, 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 up, bass, bass, down, down, up. Works very, very well. Then over the F major chord, I can play down, 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 up, bass, down, up, bass, down, up. All right, then we're gonna get interested with the D to D7 change. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Kind of coming in a little early on that D7 chord is a nice touch. Before going to the G major chord, for a nice little walk-in technique. Bass, down, up, bass, down, up, bass, down, up, bass, up, down, up. Okay, so that was the G major chord. I'm striking the low E string first, and then down up, then the open A string, down up on the high strings, then the second fret A string, bass, and then down up, and then back to the full G chord for a bass, up, down, up. All right, you put that technique together for the G chord, and we have. Right, now let's put all of those chords together, starting from the C chord with the strumming pattern. Okay, so one, two, three, and four, C. Down, 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 up, bass, bass, down, down, up, down. Down, down, up, down, up, down. Down, up, down, up, down. Down, down, up, bass, bass, down, down, up, F. Down, down, up, bass, down, up, bass, down, up, D. Down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, G, down, up, A, down, up, B, down, up, G, up, down, up. Okay, you might need to play through that a few times to get that down. All right, now on to the last part of the verse. It's gonna look and sound like this. gets you back into verse number two. So reprising that intro at the end. So we have this A minor section. We're gonna have one and two and on a typical A minor chord. Then it gets pretty weird. We're gonna play A minor major seven. So we have the first fret of the G string and the B string, index and the middle finger. And the ring finger needs to go to the second fret of the D string. All right, so I don't want to leave for now. All right, then A minor seven. Okay, second fret D, first fret of the B string. Before going to a D major chord and doing that exact same thing, just chopping on those strings, down, 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 down. Okay, put that together and we have, I don't want to leave for now. You know I believe in how. Then, reprise that intro to finish up this verse. Ba, ba, dum, ba, ba. Somewhere in a smile, she knows. Okay, very good everybody. Now let's see if you can play through an entire verse section. Okay, getting started with that C chord. Something in the way she moves. Attracts me like no other lover Down, down, a bass, down, a bass, down Something in the way she woos me A minor I don't want to leave now You know I believe in how F, down, down, E flat Somewhere in a smile. All right, that gets us to verse number two, which is gonna be played verbatim. The only thing that you need to know is that when we reprise the intro section after verse two, we're gonna change it a bit to get us into the bridge or the chorus section, whatever you wanna call it. Okay, I'm gonna call it a chorus. So the second time around, we're gonna play F, E flat, G, and A major. And over top of that, we're gonna change up that lead line a little bit as well. We're gonna play. 
skip the 13th fret C and go up to the 14th fret, which is gonna be inside of that A major chord. Okay, it's the major third of that chord. All right, so after verse number two, F, E flat, G, A. And the lead line. All right, if you can play that, then you're ready to move into that chorus section. Okay, tremendous work today, everybody. You have the intro and the verse sections complete. Now we're gonna jump into what is essentially the last thing you need to learn before you're ready to perform, the chorus section. We're gonna take it line by line, getting started with the chord A major. Now throughout this chorus section, you can play the A chord in one of two ways, in this stacked configuration, but you might find it very useful to play it as a bar with the index finger. That's going to allow you to switch to these bar chord shapes with greater ease. All right, so getting started with the A chord, we'll start off in the stacked configuration. We're gonna play. You're asking me, will my love grow? I don't know, I don't know. All right, so I started with the A major chord playing down, 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 up. I then switched to the chord C sharp minor. All right, bar in the fourth fret, A to high E. I've got the 6th fret D string, 6th fret G, and the 5th fret B string. Same exact strumming pattern. So, down, 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 up. Down, 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 up. Now move to the chord F sharp minor. Bar in the 2nd fret, E to E, and we have the 4th fret of the A string, and the 4th fret D string. Same thing. Down, 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 up. And then we're back to the A chord, but this time with an E in the bass. All right, that's line number one right there. You put it together and we have. You're asking me, will my love grow? All right, then we're going to the D major chord. I don't know. Just down, 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 up. Same thing on the G chord. And then a single strum of the A chord. As you walk down. All right, so strum the A, and then fourth fret, low E. Three, two, one, and then the open E string. It has a very specific rhythm to it. Okay, you put it into context, we have. You're asking me, will my love grow? Then the whole thing is gonna repeat the A major chord. All right, I switch to the bar because it's gonna be easier. You stick around now, let me show. A slash E. I don't know. I don't know. Ah, and right there at the end of that second repetition, he changes it up to finish up the chorus section. You go to the C chord and introduce another walk down. Looks and sounds like this. No. And that gets you into the guitar solo. Okay, so we strum the C chord, then you're gonna play the notes. B, A, G, open low E. Then to the D note on the fifth fret A string, I like to slide down into my C chord. Okay, so. All right, then the guitar solo comes in. All right, very good. Let's put that entire chorus section together. It should sound like this. A major. You're asking me, will my love grow? A slash E. I don't know. G chord. I don't. A walk. A. You stick around and it may show. All right, 
And like I said, right there, we're into the guitar solo section, which again, I already taught in a previous lesson. Just click that box right up there and you can access that tutorial. Now from there, we're on to verse number three, which is played the exact same way as the previous verses. Then you just finish up the song by reprising the intro section. First, ending with the A chord. Just like we did before. Then it repeats. And then resolving on a C major chord to finish the tune, playing the lick. Just as we did in the intro. Congratulations, everybody. You're ready to perform. All right, friends. Thanks so much for checking out this lesson on something. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. As always, big thanks to my supporters at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. Hope you're enjoying all those extra resources. And thanks to you guys, I got many more lessons coming up. So keep checking in, please subscribe, please share. This is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia, saying happy picking.